And I created the fur, very first black Barbie and she was so different from Barbie, which was the intent because I wanted her to have her own personality. I gave her a short natural. Uh, I gave her a slim silhouette instead of the full ball gown that Barbie usually had. Um, I gave her, um, she was mainly in primary colors instead of the fantasy pinks and blues and that kind of thing. So she really had her own personality. She was named Barbie and I named her that because I wanted her to be associated with the Barbie group, but I did not want her to um, have Barbie's personality or Barbie's look or anything about her that was Barbie. Um, but just attaching the black Barbie name to her, then sales really took off for that. Um, when I started um, the first 10 years um, at Mattel, uh, it was just me, just one Afro-American designer. And uh, when I was in a position where I could hire uh, designers, um, I hired two. I find that there's a lot about um, Afro-Americans that's not spoken about and a lot that uh, the kids really need to know about. Uh, almost in every aspect of our lives, there has been blacks involved. Inventions and, and um, um, things that, that we didn't get credit for. Um, and I, I think that the kids really need to know that, you know, and um, like when I started at Mattel, um, I was the first black designer. And um, as I look back on it now, that was huge. It wasn't, uh, and it was because of my um, just really kind of pushing the bar. Um, because when, when uh, the director told me the first time that I'm sorry, we have a tendency as black people to take that and just go away. But I said to myself, I can't do anything else. So I have to pursue this. And I did. Because nothing ventured is nothing gained.